Okay, so let's talk about the specs for this um, this kayak, uh, the Everest Sharky. Um, before we get started, I'm actually just having a look. I'll tell you what, she looks nice and stable. I can't wait to get it on the water. Uh, my last kayak, I was very nervous about standing up. Probably would have been okay. Um, I just wasn't confident with it, but um, I've seen this one in action already in a few photos and a little bit of vid. So I'm happy to, um, to give it a crack and we'll see how it goes um, when we give it a test run on the water. Um, but just about the kayak itself, it's uh, 2.85 meters long, um, weighs 23 kilograms, um, so it's not too bad, um, and it has a, a weight rating up to 130 kilograms. So just for your uh, consideration, obviously, if you get one of these um, and you do get an electric motor, obviously you've got to counter, uh, sort of, uh, sorry, add in all those factors. <coughs> Uh, in relation to weight before you go. Um, I did get a 5 amp hour battery, tiny. Uh, my plan is to um, set up a, uh, a rail blazer transducer mount kit um, and then uh, battery will just sit in the front hatch. Nice and easy, takes no room at all. Uh, I'm gonna fashion up uh, a few little uh, bits and pieces for in there. Uh, for the battery, look at how I'm gonna sit that in there. We'll go through that at a later date. Um, once I've actually sorted that out, but I've got some ideas in mind already. Um, I'm going to lose two rod holders to my uh, motor mount. Uh, the motor mount will take the two back, back two rod holders. Again, I took the, uh, the motor mount uh, that I did because I wanted the track. I want to set a camera up uh, for my fishing in behind the seat and that was just an easy way for me to do it. I didn't have to worry about trying to come up with something DIY. It was ready made, and I don't use those back two uh, rod holders anyway. I use two fishing rods when I'm out in the kayak, essentially, and I can lay them down beside me. No big deal. Um, the motor is a Blackhawk motor. It's, like I said earlier, it's 30 pound thrust, eight speed, um, should go nicely. I've already got a battery for that. I've got a 28 amp hour battery for that. Um, it pulls 18 amps. So at full speed, at 18 amps, I'd get a little bit over an hour. Uh, but where I fish in the main, my favorite spots in my local, um, I can drop in not far from them anyway. So I've got no concerns with that. If I think I'm gonna go for a bit of a bigger day, honestly, I'll just take a motor out of the boat. Um, nice and easy. Uh, probably on weight, 30 or 40 kilo in the battery with me. Um, so I'd be pushing the weight uh, bracket, but um, I don't think that's gonna be too much of an issue, to be honest with you. And if I think it's going to be issues, I'll drop a few kilos and, uh, you know, move on from there. So I'll work around it, no big deal at all. Um, I'm really, really keen on this one. Um, I've got a few ideas on how I'm going to mount a few things, cameras, etc. Um, we'll go through that um, a little bit later on. I did fashion up already a stand-up um, rope to give me a hand, um, carabiner to the front. So all I do is just run it to where I need, where I'm sitting, and give me a hand to pull myself up, get my balance as I'm getting up. But in all honesty, when I'm looking at this, I really don't know that I'm going to need it. So um, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to put together the motor, uh, the mount, um, and see how it all looks together. Uh, I do know already that I'm going to have to fashion a um, um, a leash to one side of the mount because once the motor goes on the other side it's going to pull straight out of the rod holder um, it's a bit of an obvious one really that's the advantage of the other mount that's sorry just something popped up on my screen that's the advantage of the other mount <coughs> you don't have to worry about that um, but again I went with this mount knowing that I, I bought it uh, or took that mount um, knowing that, that was going to be uh, not so much of an issue but I would have to counter that um, so let's put it together and see what it looks like hey eh? cheers
so I've returned from my first trip in the um, Everest Sharky. Uh, certainly uh, an excellent kayak. Um, I'm very, very happy with uh, my choice. Um, compared to what I had previously, it's uh, way more comfortable, uh, especially with that aluminium seat, um, the adjustable footrests, the um, stability uh, is uh, really, really good. I was able to stand. I uh, wasn't able to stand previously, as I said uh, prior uh, in the um, Getting Home review when I was talking about the specs. Um, the rails, uh, excellent. Sounder setup, excellent. I was going to go with the Railblazer transducer setup, but I don't think I will now. I'm actually happy with what I've got. I did a DIY uh, for the rails uh, for the head unit mount. Um, but everything's um, really sweet with that camera setup. Uh, I would use the rails for that as well. Use the rail blazer camera mount um, for that, and a DIY that ran off the motor mount um, was very, very good. The uh, motor itself, wow, very, very impressed. 18 amp hour uh, motor, 30 pound thrust. The Black Hawk, uh, I used a 26 amp hour battery, dry power, and uh, it was awesome. Um, able to use it. I was probably for the whole time I was out for about four hours um, And I had no issues with it at all got up to 2.6 knots so around the 5k mark Which is what I was advertised as was straight plenty powerful sitting at setting setting number five um, Really really got up there. So um, very very impressed um, This is probably a kayak ooh, That you should get I reckon uh, if you're out uh, looking for a kayak, um, this is a very, very, I could say, very, very comfortable ride, easy to fish out of. Uh, I'd recommend it to anyone. Um, certainly, if you're looking for a kayak, pop into Everest uh, down 120 South Pine Road at Brendale, or have a look online. There's a store in Coffs Harbour as well. Um, you won't be unhappy. Uh, the service is second to none, uh, and. Um, yeah, she's a great kayak. Uh, I can't wait to get out again and um, uh, get some more vids up for you to um, have a look at. Um, yeah, so uh, please um, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to do a little bit more all the time. I'll throw in some how-to videos, uh, how I've set up some of my stuff as I go along. Um, but certainly, uh, you know, being a local lure maker, uh, I do uh, custom wood and... Um, um, custom painted blanks uh, so you know look me up copper lures uh, Facebook um, and uh, yeah support your local